Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Jane, not Janet or Janet. So today's in this video, I'm just gonna talk about my fountain pen collection. <laughs> I actually did some research about how am I gonna share this video and and what's the title I'm gonna use for this video. But then I couldn't use like fountain pen collection because I don't really have a lot. <laughs> a lot of you actually asked me on Instagram where did I get this pouch. This is actually a utility utility pouch from Delphonics. It is not really a pencil case. It is a utility pouch where we can put other stuff but I am actually using um, as a pencil case and uh, I do not use other cases right now. This is the only one that I use. This is how my pouch look like right now. And I actually accessorized it with some um, keychain that um, so that it's easy for me to open the slot. Yeah, this is how it looks like inside. Um, you're gonna judge me because I do not have a nice leather or a nice pencil a nice case to store fountain pens <laughs> because i i i don't know i i don't think i need it at the moment i don't know about future but at the moment i'm just storing all my fountain pen um in here I do not. I don't put them here, obviously, because it's it's gonna fall out. But uh, I'm just putting the usual gel pens and the usual um, multi pen that I use a lot in here, as it has a clip on clip. And this is my mechanical pencil from Lamy. So yeah, the the nicer ones like fountain pen are in this zip. It's all see-through and I love them and they're all like metallic black I I don't know I I love colors but I just like my fountain pens to be simple I guess I have no idea maybe maybe I'll opt for a color one in the future I I, I or like a pastel color or like a I don't know but yeah there is a similarity here they're all um, simple black um, boring colors <laughs> okay, I think this is the first one that I got this is the Lamy um, let me see this is the Lamy Vista Clear Demonstrator uh, yeah it's in some ink maybe I'll, I'll share these swatches uh, later on maybe I don't even swatch I'm gonna make like a journal straight away and then this is probably I think mean, the Lamy batches because they're so uh, price friendly it's not that expensive like a lot of people can buy it and uh, it's 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 very uh, easy to use where you can just change the nib uh, to whether which one you like and then you can even change the uh, cartridge it's just uh, very easy to buy and easy to get and yeah I think this is the first one that I got yeah if I'm not wrong I don't quite remember <laughs> but yeah and then this I got it and I even have my name engraved on into the cap which I wanted to sell this, I couldn't because it has my name. I wanted to sell this off, I couldn't because it's it looked really old. <laughs> Just because I did not uh, put them in nice casing, so it just get like the normal the the scratches that they get and make it look kind of old and uh, vintage like like I used it a lot but I don't really use it that much. <laughs> 
so I got it like maybe 2016 or maybe 2015 and yeah and then uh, I think there's one point until I got really crazy I bought this uh, Lamy 2000 this was more a higher range than this I managed to uh, snack one and uh, I don't know what has gotten me that time and then um, I got the uh, um, um, I, I got overboard like crazily overboard and then there's one day I went to this uh, fountain pen place called uh, pen gallery and uh, I think I was there to get some lummy stuff and then um, I don't know the the owner um, introduced me this see-through um, it, it is actually see-through uh, fountain pen but I kind of ink it up with uh, a grey ink so it look kind of like it's not see-through but then it's gonna look kind of cool so yeah so that person actually showed me this and I immediately got hooked and body <laughs> I don't know what happened so this is this is the uh, limited edition uh, from Visconti it's the Opera Crystal uh, Dark Age um, and it has I think it's only available in Southeast Asia and the one that I have right now is the number um, I think it wrote here somewhere number 12 number 12 over 68 yeah it's I don't know yeah okay guys I'm not really a fountain pen expert I'm not any of that I don't even know what's I have no idea I, I just thought that it looks nice and I can write nicely with it and it just look cool and I have that money and I just bought it and it makes me happy that's it yeah guys you don't need to understand <laughs> you don't need to understand your fountain pen <laughs> but if it, if it makes you happy yeah get it yeah yeah <laughs> twist B which is from Taiwan itself it's not from Japan guys a lot of people actually thought it's from Japan but no it's actually from Taiwan and um yeah I immediately bought it I think this is the um the, what is this this is like a mini bag it's a lot smaller than the rest you can see so what our sketch in is that uh it dries really fast and it's waterproof and you can actually layer it with water so you can actually uh yeah you can treat it like a watercolor and you can actually use your uh, brush and use it like a watercolor as well but I did not try that yet but yeah these two inks I got it for free uh, from from the gathering uh, fountain pen gathering they were like giving samples so I just kind of take it myself and I kind of ink with one of the pen here I think I don't know like yeah, and then this is my next favorite, uh, the Diamine Oxblood Fountain Pen Ink. This is not waterproof, but it has this very dark uh, gray, gray, uh, no, no, dark gray brownish color tone, which is called Oxblood, which I will share after this, the swatches and uh, journal at the same time. So, oh, wait, 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 guys, actually, there's one more thing how can i miss these guys um actually i have um a new <laughs> i bought a new twist <laughs> bee so this uh, this is gonna be my second twist b and um yeah i i i don't know how am i gonna share this i got it like two days ago from uh pen gallery and um this is what I eh? What I think? Oh, okay. This is yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. 
finally a color in my collection. <laughs> I actually like hot pink, so I don't know. That's I think it's it's I, it's just me. Uh, I use I always wear like normal clothing, like black, brown. I look like a normal person, but I my I have different hair colors. I have funky nails color. So yeah, my fondant pan is like all of a sudden I have something funky in here. <laughs> but I really love it. This is the um, VAC 700 from Twisby. And oh, the inks are in here, man. Oh no, okay, we did a little bit uh, test out in pen gallery when I was to purchase this fountain pen and look how pretty it is Look at the nib Let's fill in some ink guys Whoa, it looks so cool now guys It has become a hot pink iris okay fine guys <gasps> it looks so cool now guys oh it's so sexy <laughs> oh god guys I now have a pink fountain pen that's so cool! Oh god, I'm gonna use it right away! Perhaps it does better on a white paper, but I'm just... Treat it as like I'm just journaling. This is the Lummy, um, Lummy Clear Demonstrator in m -Nip. It's a warmer and cleaner, um, brewing called Feather? Feather, yeah. So I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna write, just write something simple here. And this is the Hobonichi, um, the new, which I haven't used at all. This is the Humanichi Day 3 2023. sketch ink from Rora it doesn't smudge except these um <laughs> this color pencil yeah it kind of like ooh, lead true and the rest of the I think these I don't I'm not sure how I what how I color this but yeah yeah the good thing is the word the writing is still there so I'm just gonna put this away very curious how it looks. White paper. Let's fight it. Ooh. It's so smooth. And 
my god i like how fat it is it is broad nib and i really like how god i love it love it love it it just dries up oh the color is just beautiful it's gorgeous Lamy 2000 with a broad nib as well as a sketch in in lily this is this is the ink that's in this pen right now Lamy uh, All Star Graphite Graphite. It's currently ink with the Pelican Edelstein Olivine, so it's greenish. Diamond ink. Okay guys, so this is the special one guys. This is the Visconti Opera Crystal with fine nib ink with, yes, I totally put in the new ink that I got from um, Borrow and Cleaner. The color is Dia. It's like a light gray and it kind of look like a pencil hmm let's see Alright guys, this is how it looks like after using the swatches and and check out the ink doesn't even bleed through. Wow, it's super amazing. Yeah, you guys, if you're looking for a waterproof sketch ink, for your fountain pen, yeah, you you guys could try the uh, Rora and Cleaners ink, Sketch ink, and this and this one dried up as well. It looks pretty good. God, so pretty! Oh, looks so awesome on craft paper. I. I'm gonna leave this empty and I will journal this next time and yeah that's it for today uh, thanks guys for watching I'll see you in the next video bye